another day and I'm actually gonna be meeting Lil Flippy at the car wash. He was the same guy that was at the drag strip the other night. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wash his car, we're gonna bring it here, and we're gonna put on a new Boxer Baddies banner. So here's Stella right here. She really, really needs a wash, so we're gonna wash her as well. I did new decals. If you haven't seen the previous video, check it out because all of this was in there. So this is the banner right here. I'm gonna leave it in the box for him for when he gets here. But I'll show you how to put it on too once we get going, but I'm gonna leave it in the box right here and we're gonna go ahead and get started. sits so low you can't even see the stoplights but if you look through there you can see the stoplight so that's what I have to look through whenever I'm at a stoplight remember what I was saying about idle temperatures I've been sitting at this stoplight for maybe a minute and we're already at 120 on the intake temp Florida needs to be banned forever So we're in the garage now and we have Lil Flippy's car right here 
and this is the banner. At first I thought it was black and white. That's what I thought we had ordered and I started peeling this back. Look at that, it is oil slick. So this is gonna look really awesome on this car, especially with his wheels. What kind of wheels are those? I got the work emotion wheels. What do you think of it? It looks sick, can't wait to put it on. Yeah, it totally changes the look of a car. And what's nice too is when you have it there, it's gonna block the sun. So it's like you have a, a sun strip. It's like another sun strip because yeah. I have a dark one on. Oh yeah, I see that. Now, like, now no light is gonna get through. <laughs> Okay, so the first step, you just have to spray the top. Uh, you first, you have to clean it, then you spray the top with uh, soapy water, and then what you do is you peel this off, and then you spray water underneath it on the side that's gonna stick here. That way you can adjust it once it gets on. So we basically took it off of the backing, and we laid it on here, and now what's cool is because it's got a bunch of soap under it, go ahead and grab your side. You can freely move it across the windshield as you need to. So now what you do is you just drag it into position. You can measure each side and then you're going to start taking out the bubbles. Okay, so now we have the banner in position. As you can see, it's pretty well aligned there. You just got to make sure you've got the same measurement on each side, each of these uh, little spaces here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull all these bubbles out. You can see the soap comes out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting and using a blow dryer to make sure that it starts adhesing to the surface of the glass. All right, so now we're gonna use the blow dryer and we're gonna just kind of heat it up and make sure it sticks nice. And then we're gonna move on to cutting. I just like to give it a nice clean edge here. You can see there's still a little bit of soap that comes out there. That's okay. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a nice clean cut. So just get right up on it there. And you see, it's, it's not perfectly stuck, so it's a little tricky to get it right. So you can start from down here as well, and you just wanna go real fast, right to the corner. So that's cut. And then you can finish off here by just going fast. So now, you can see if you pull up, it's cut, and it's cut perfect. So now we're gonna do the same thing here. Go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight. You're gonna start right about the middle here and you're just gonna send it, just like that. And it's gonna give you a really, really nice clean edge. Check that out, perfect. So now let's go ahead and finish it up. So you find right here is about where it stopped. So again, we're gonna guide it, make sure it's all tight there and here. You see a little soap still even comes out. So let's go ahead and do it. So just go nice and quick, no hesitation, boom. That's how you do it. Next one right here real fast no hesitation and your banner is almost complete check that out what do you think i think it's great it looks it looks fantastic i have no words for it honestly it Man. just a whole different look okay so the final step to making sure this banner is stuck on there is use the blow dryer and blow dry the edges. Then what you can do is you use the squeegee and just push into the liner like this. And what it does is it tucks it into the liner and you'll be all set. And there you go, you've got a nice clean finish and it's tucked underneath the weather liner and it is just perfect. Nice, perfect. All right, so it is all completed. It looks so good. One cool thing about this is if you buy one of these banners, you don't even need a sun strip because check this out. It's a sun strip of its own. It is so dark, it looks so good in there. It's like you're in a spaceship. <laughs>